So, what is the difference between WebRTC and ZIP? Both use SDP files to change call information and are used for IP peer-to-peer -peer communications. However, ZIP strength is in the telecom world and WebRTC strength is in the internet world. Another difference is that ZIP is a signaling protocol on itself and WebRTC requires a signaling protocol. This means that WebRTC can use ZIP or other signaling methods to identify connection states between clients. ZIP, on the other hand, will always use ZIP. <laughs> um, also, WebRTC mandates the use of some features that are optional when using ZIP. Let's take a look at those ZIP optional features. Here we can see some of the differences. Um, on the media transport, uh, ZIP can use, by default, will use RTP and can use as RTP, but uh, WebRTC will mandate the use of SRTP. On the negotiation, um, also the, it's slightly different. Uh, both use SDP, but the negotiation one uh, use trickle, um, which is a method of um, uh, ice gathering. And also um, the NAT regarding NAT transver traversal that we learned in the previous courses, um, stone turn ice in general is not uh, is not mandated by SIP. You can use it or not, while WebRTC must use this. Um, also on the media transport, uh, it's slightly different where RTP and RTCP messages uh, will go all through the same path um, on WebRTC, but we'll be using separate paths on SIP. And also regarding codecs, there are slight differences, uh, especially on video and audio. Um, both uh, typically use um, G711, but uh, the preferred one for WebRTC is Opus, while uh, SIP will be G711. So there, there is some, uh, yeah, the data don't match there. And then on codecs, uh, H264 will be a very common uh, codec on SIP and H261, while on WebRTC, uh, BP8 will be the preferred, but also is pretty common to see H264 as well. So why do we need to combine them? The main reasons are two. Um, first, because, well, many times we want to send or receive calls to or from the PSTN, which is the, the world's interconnected public telephone. Um, basically, if you want to call from a mobile phone or uh, uh, any telephone number to a website, um, a very common approach would be SIP to WebRTC or WebRTC to SIP, so that's the main reason. And also sometimes uh, the, the applications have been built a uh, long time ago and maybe before were dependent on legacy networks and now they aren't, but because it's costly to change the signaling protocol, you might need to keep uh, using uh, SIP uh, on, on that application. 